Doodle Docs allow you to do a lot of common formatting options that you might find in other places. For instance, I can go bold, I can go italics, and I can go underline. There's a couple others that I can find, and those you will find either up here or with some very common shortcuts that I will have listed on the document. If you can't find the ones that you need, you can also go up to Format, Text, and then there it lists them all. And there's the shortcuts that actually go with it. Superscript and Subscript are also there. Same thing with Strike Through. Those things are definitely worth uh, spending time, if you use this a lot, on learning those particular shortcuts for there. You can also change the font size either by increasing or decreasing right here. But again, that's one of those things that I use often enough where it's just a lot easier to learn the shortcut. Control shift period makes it larger. Control shift comma actually makes it smaller. Or I can go up here and type in the actual font size that I want if I want to get more specific. The minimum size that you can actually go to up there is size six. If you want to change the color of the font, you can select the area that you want and go up here and click on text color. There, I could change that to be red blue or green or whatnot. If I want to change the highlight, same thing. I'm going to go up here and click on highlight color and then select it like that. If I want to actually change the case on that, I can go to format, text, and I can change that to all lowercase, all uppercase, useful if you want to stream at someone over the internet, or of course, title case, where it's just the first letter of each word is going to be capitalized.